Hey, it's your man, Charlie P. Been a long time. I know I was burnt out, so I had to take a break. It is what it is. But today I'm going to show y'all how I caught 130 something pips on gold. It was a real good morning. It was. It was a really good morning. So uh, let's break this London. Eye. So actually what I'm going to do, because London Eye is super similar to Angel Dust, my Angel Dust strategy. Uh, so I'm going to break this London Nine trade down. And then I'll show you a comparison between what London Eye looks like versus Angel Dust side by side so that you can recognize the difference going forward. All right. So let's get into the trade for today. So starting off on H1, like we always do um, on gold. And, and I'm actually just using this little cheat sheet. Y'all know I got my checklist. That's how I take my trades. I got my strategies printed out laminate it and then i go through and i just check my boxes off well i didn't physically check them off today but i should have but anyway so i'm gonna use my little cheat sheet so the first rule of london nine is uh h1 is gonna ride along the 10 ema but with no pcp established if that doesn't make sense don't worry about it i'll show you um the pcp is my angel dust strategy but but basically, so the main thing is you just need to know that it's going to ride along the 10 EMA. And so what happened was yesterday we had price doing all this stuff and then it just started kind of hugging that 10 EMA, which is my white line right here. And just kind of hugging it. And um, then it goes into the second rule, which is the main part and how London Nine got its name. The nine o'clock candle, the nine o'clock H1 candle is going to engulf the entire consolidation uh, i said asian session consolidation but i need to actually uh modify that and say like because the consolidation usually starts in new york so in this situation the consolidation is from here like all of this basically or all of just all of that so this is from this hive of this this candle body i'm not worried about the wick just the body that's what i would say is the consolidation so what i'm looking for is i'm going to draw a line right there because that's what i need to get breached so we're going to put a line at the highest point in your consolidation which is normally going to be in new york um then you're going to Look at the nine o'clock chart time candle, which is this one right here. And it has to close past that point. It doesn't look like it passed. It looked like it closed right on it. That's why it's important to do one of two things. Either you can zoom in. Oops, let me fix it. So when I zoom in, it actually looks like it's still right on the money. So the next thing that I would do is say, let me look at my actual prices. I'm just gonna hover my mouse. I'm not even touching. I just hover the mouse over the thing over the candle the close of that candle i see the close price is 1899.48 when i look at the nine o'clock candle what's that close price 1899.50 so it's barely higher than that uh new york candle but it is higher and how do we know it's the nine o'clock chart time candle well we know it's the nine o'clock chart time candle because we uh just like hovered the crosshair over it if you look down there at the bottom, you see it's the it's the nine o'clock chart time um, is that equates to 1 a.m. Central Standard Time where I live. Uh, but just going off chart time and it's the nine o'clock chart time candle. So that's that. So that's it. Like if you see the nine o'clock chart time candle completely close past the entirety of the consolidation between the Asian session and the previous New York session. That's likely going to be London nine. What else did I say in these rules? Yeah, make sure you only trade this in the direction of the 144 EMA that you're on. So we're above the 144 EMA, which is the purple line. So we're only looking to buy this. So again, very similar to Angel Dust and the uh, that last rule. I'm just going to kick out. I'm just going to say wait on it to come back and grab the 50 EMA, which is likely going to cause you to miss some things sometimes. What I said in my rules is if M15 retraces in London session, enter when price comes back to grab the 10 EMA. So basically we got the confirmation. If price had come back and grab the 10 EMA in London, 
you could have went ahead and took the trade. But if it waits until New York to retrace, which it did in this in this situation, then you wait until it grabs the 50 EMA, which is the gold line. Now, as you see, it grabbed the 50 EMA and it it went down quite a bit. Like, let's say you had been up and hopped in as soon as it grabbed the 50 EMA. Yeah, I, I know I definitely would have got stopped out. That was a 59 pip, uh, you know, drawdown if I would have got in right there. Luckily for me, I don't even start trading until 7 a.m. my time. So 7 a.m. for me is 14 chart time. So that wouldn't have started until this candle right here, this one. So I would have avoided the bulk of that draw or at least half of that drawdown um, that way. So if I'd have got in here and then I would have took this wick and been like, oh, crap, I might lose. Then it would have came up and I'd have been happy after that. Um, I actually didn't get in the trade until this candle, though. Take that back. It was this one. When this one started uh, retracing down. I hopped in here and then I hopped in again, uh, like here. Those are my two entries that I took. But uh, essentially, just to overall in a nutshell, so I can keep it moving, you're going to get consolidation starting in New York. It's going to consolidate through Asian session. You want the nine o'clock chart time candle to completely close above the whole thing. Um, and it might barely close above it like it did on this one. That's why it's important to know these little tricks, know how to find your close times. I don't know about trading view. I know an MT4. I just hover my mouse over that close price. I mean, over the close of the candle and it'll show me the close price. And I can see again, uh, 99.48 to end that one versus 99.50 on the close price. So that lets me know that this one is a higher close. I'm good. Um, and then you just enter where you enter. Now, I got out before the news hit. There was some news, uh, major USD news that uh, hit. So I got out right at the end of this candle, uh, right before news hit right here. I see now I could have stayed in and still been catching pips. No problem. Don't need to be greedy. Um, but that's that was today's trade. Another example of London Nine that I can think of off the top of my head happened on um, EJ earlier this week. Where is it? Yeah, it's right here. So keep an eye out. We're gonna look at pretty much in this box right here. So you got this, uh, like I said, the, the top of your consolidation is normally gonna start in New York session. So that would be here. It starts kind of hugging that 10 EMA. And then the nine o'clock chart time candle, which is this green one right here. That's the nine o'clock candle. Here, I just hover my crosshair over it. You can look down there and see at nine o'clock. So, you know, I'm not lying. And this one's a lot more obvious. So if I draw my line here, because this is the, the price we need to get breached, that nine o'clock chart time candle closed above it. So now it completely closed above the entirety of the consolidation here. Oops. Where were we? Here we go. Um, what's the name? It came down in the Asian set. I mean, in the in London session and it grabbed the 50 EMA. And that's why I was saying why I said I was going to throw that rule out that I had made earlier. I'm going to wait on it to hit the 50 EMA every time. Um, there will be London nine trades that I miss doing this, but this is a safer way to avoid a lot of drawdown. Um, but anyway, so up in London, it came down and grabbed the 50 EMA. So you hop in here and then you catch, uh, that same day, you could have caught upwards of about 50 pips. However, you could have held that trade into the next day and caught, um, upwards of a hundred and something. I think, yeah, that went up to 130 pips. So those are two examples that happened this week. Same setup, London nine that both were hundred plus pip trades. Actually, gold, if I gold might be pushing two hundred. Yeah, gold's over two hundred now. So there you have it. So uh, it's a good trade to take. So let me do this real quick. So with Angel Dust, you're looking for PCP, Peak Center Pass. So Angel Dust is going to look more like this, something like that, because you got a peak here 
it comes and makes a center point and the center point is going to be kind of sharp and then you get a pass candle and the pass candle is just a candle that closes past our center point versus London nine you get your peak you do not need a center point and then your pass candle has to close past the highest point or if we were selling it the lowest point uh, but in this situation since we buy them we'll just say the highest point it's got to close past the highest point in the whole consolidation so angel dust it just needs to close past the center point london nine you don't need a center point and it has to close past the highest part of the consolidation that's the main difference between the two strategies and with london nine it has to be the nine o'clock chart time candle Angel dust, it can be a variety of candles, um, which I've had. I have those times laid out in my um, matter of fact here, just so I can save you a little bit of search. I don't know if this helps. Can you see them times? Those are your times that angel dust uh, candles can happen. So you can pause the video and, and make a note of that. So angel dust candles can. can, can blah, 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 blah. Angel dust candles can confirm at a variety of times. London nine, London session at nine o'clock, London nine. <laughs> okay. That's the difference. So short video today, but, uh, yeah, man, 130 something pips. It was a good day. Um, so y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all on the next one.